it's Sam here from Sam and Casey bringing you another makeup tutorial video for of course it's New Year's Eve today well where I am it is so I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of a New Year's Eve makeup trial that's sparkly and fun and awesome so I'll just get right down to it and I'll show you all what to do so many girls in here, where do I begin? So first off I am going to line my upper lids in a black eyeliner. So I'll show you all that. Yes, I'm doing it in a pencil and not my usual other ones I always got. It's a new pencil too, so it's a little pokey. So there's that. I already did my liquid foundation and my powder already. So I forgot to say that back when I was doing my black eyeliner there. But I am now going to add silver to my bottom line. So let's see how well this one goes. It doesn't have, you don't have to do two different colors. This one's just a suggestion. I think you guys can see a silver. Or my big huge eyeballs. On the two. So there's that. You could kind of see it when I look down a bit. You could see a silvery effect there. So there's that one. Now we're going to go into eyeshadow. So for what I'm going to do my lids in. Is I'm going to do the Ooh La Lilac. By the CoverGirl Balm Shadow Cre Shine Shadow, actually. By, well, of course, CoverGirl. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my eyelids. It is very tough to come out of the heat there. I got a good amount, so hopefully it comes out right. It's okay if you get a little bit on your under eye, it'll give it a little of shadow. You do not have to do ooh la lilac, but it's always fun to do. So after that, you want something kind of nice. Because the dark automatically is going to pull into the bombshell effect. So I'm just going to use, I call it honey. It is a really, really nice color. Hopefully it's actually called honey. No, this is a color design. It's yellow. And it's a shimmer. So I'm just going to put that in my crease. It's like a honey color, so it's very, very nice. And I know you could barely, barely see it, but you can see it on my brush. There, so there's that one. And then finally, well, I shouldn't say finally, there's still one more little touch we're gonna add after this color. We're gonna add the silver and do the bra bone, which is gonna be really pretty. You guys will see what I mean. Oops, got a little bit of my nose. Gonna have a sparkly nose too, but that's okay. And we're just gonna do just all along the brow here. 
Don't worry, we're gonna blend it so it doesn't look like I have a huge streak on my face. Because I know that's what a lot of you are probably thinking of right now. Why does she have a huge streak on her face? So. Don't worry, we'll fix it. So there's that, and now every part of this needs one more touch, but we're gonna blend this first. Well, we're going to blend the powders because you can't blend the cream because the cream's already blended in your skin, so. There you guys go. I look like a little of a gray koala. Just kidding, no. There's one more touch we're gonna add, but I gotta get it. So for my mascara, I'm gonna, I already used the lash curler a little bit, if you can notice. But I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Bombshell for my lashes. With a little of a twist, which you guys will see later on. But I'm just gonna put this on here first. So there's the number one part of this. Now I gotta get the number two. They're literally numbered one and two. See, there's two. There's one. This will hold the other one there in place. Yes, I know I don't do my top, it. well, just my top one. You don't want to do your lower ones with this. So there's that. But we're going to add it one more touch, which is hard candy. Oh, the literally brand is hard candy. It's black sparkle mascara. It's called glitter mascara. So we're just going to add a touch of sparkle to the lashes. If you love sparkles, you're gonna love this look. You should sit there. Oh well. Done is done. And that's it for your eyes. Now time to go on to the lips. So for this look, you can either do pink or red lips. It's really depends on your outfit, but mine is like black and sparkly there. So I'm gonna do a pink lips. So I'm just lining it in my uh, Ramel here. My Romero 063 light pink lip liner. And again, you want to get as much detail with the lip liner as possible. Because I know it makes me new faces. Alright, so there's the liner. Now we're going to go on to the lipstick. For the lipstick, it was really debatable. So I grabbed my 2-in-1 here. The Empire Lilac. Which you guys could probably see better. But it's a 2-in-1 lipstick so I'm going to use the lighter side of it well, I'm going to use the in-between part because it'll make a, a kind of nice pink
So there's that. Remember to blot it with a Kleenex three times. You'll remove any extra lipstick. And then to top it, it all off, I'm going to use a little lip gloss that is called Lush Pink Rose to seal this look all off. And there you guys go. Well, we have blush left, but that's all it looks so far without the blush. Finally, the blush. You can choose to add blush if you want, but I just choose to do a little bit of blush. And there you guys go. A cute, sparkly New Year's Eve look. Enjoy, and can't wait to do more makeup trials in 2015. Love y'all. Baby, do you dare to do this?